So, uh, what's going on? We're here to defend the millions of babies that are being murdered each and every year. Wow, baby murder? That sounds pretty terrible. Who's doing this? It's the feminists and their cut beaten male boyfriends are helping them. Huh? Cultural Marxism has co-opted people into creating a white genocide. You what? Obviously they can't just go around murdering people in the streets, so they murder all the whites in the womb. In... in, in the room? No, in, in the womb. Oh no, so this is an anti-abortion rally? Well, abortion is just the PC cut leftist term. This is murder, plain and simple. I mean, I understand that you feel strongly about this, but I think it's an exaggeration to call it murder. I mean, especially when we take into no, account... No, the truth is the truth, mate, right? And there are babies inside these women's stomachs, and we've made it legal to kill those babies. The dictionary defines murder as the intentional killing of another human. What do you think they have in their bellies? Baby cats? Dogs? Cows? No, baby fucking humans, and we're intentionally killing them, so it's murder. I mean, well, if you're going to play the dictionary game, my thesaurus lists newborn as a synonym for baby, so those beings which exist inside a woman's womb thus cannot be babies as they haven't been born yet. Ah, uh, you're such a fucking cultural Marxist regressive liberal. You can't just base your whole argument on what a dictionary or a thesaurus says. Yeah, I know, that's kind of the point that I was making. Listen mate, just follow the logic, right? It's wrong to kill living things. The beings in women's stomachs are living things. Therefore, abortion is murder. So, by extension of that logic, you would be vegan then? <gasps> you what? Well, if it's wrong to kill living things, and the beings that you pay to kill are living things, then paying to have those animals killed is murder. Ah, <laughs> you make me laugh. Look in the fucking dictionary, mate. It clearly defines murder as the intentional killing of another human. Last time I checked, cows, pigs, sheep and chickens were not humans. Oh no. Look, I, I think we both agree that solely relying on dictionaries to make a case for or against an ethical issue is not the most productive path to the truth. Right? Alright. So it's far more useful firstly to lay out what is right and wrong and what are the justifications for saying those things are right and wrong. Then to see if there are any mitigating circumstances that would allow wrong actions to be undertaken. Don't you think so? Uh, okay. So, what is right and wrong and what are your justifications for saying those things are right and wrong? Nah, 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 mate. I know what you're doing. Huh? It's easy for you to get me to explain my position and then just attack it. You're like CNN and the mainstream media. Okay, well, how about I lay out my justifications and then you tell me where you think I've gone wrong? No, 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 I know what you're doing. CNN do this all the time. First they give you their faulty leftist Soros premises and then they use pseudo-logic to make false conclusions. But, but I just offered you the chance to- Gish Gallop. What? Gish Gallop. What do you mean? Red herring! But you're just saying words. No, I'm calling you out on your logical fallacies. No, you're not. You're just stating the names of different logical fallacies. Cognitive dissonance. You know that just stating different logical fallacies and aspects of motivated reasoning isn't the same as actually proving someone wrong, right? The problem with you leftist cuck better Soros soy boys is that you live in an echo chamber full of buzzwords uh, and you run away from having any real debates. Well, I'm not running away from any debate. Um, quite the opposite. I've offered to have a conversation. You spend all of your time in safe spaces on college campuses talking about different gender rights, trying to de platform anyone that has a different view. You're afraid of listening to other people's views. But I've asked you to explain your views and you wouldn't. And you don't have any views of your own. At least you can't back them up with reason and logic like me. But I've offered to explain my views and it was you who wouldn't listen. Ah, <laughs> you fucking faggot. Oh, oops. Are, are you offended by that? Uh, no. Yes, you are. Go and tell your professor. Or, or call the cops for hate speech, you fucking faggot. So, are we gonna talk about abortion or no? <laughs> fucking fag is triggered. I wouldn't even rape you. <laughs> uh, okay then. Oh, you wouldn't believe this dickhead I just spoke to. 
pro-lifer, was he? Oh, yeah. Fucking sexist, misogynistic idiots. The lot of them. Yeah, I, I guess resistance to abortion definitely has some roots in misogyny and sexism, no doubt. What do you mean? Well, I just think that if suddenly men were the ones who had to give birth, the situation surrounding birth control and abortion would probably be very different. No, no, no. What do you mean by some roots? Well, I'm sure some of the opposition to abortion is just founded in things like religion or just faulty reasoning. I mean, wouldn't it just be too simplistic to say that they're all just women haters and that's why they're against abortion? No. Religion is a tool of the patriarchy. Uh, and it's... As is faulty reasoning. I smell a rat. You sure you are not a pro-lifer, are you? Me? Oh, jeebus, no. So you're pro-choice then? Um, well, it might sound a bit odd, but I actually support the pro-death view. Um, although the name of the argument is a little provocative. What the hell? What is the pro-death view? Well, the basic idea is just that coming into existence will always be a harm to that individual who comes into being, and especially in the early stages of pregnancy, a fetus has no interests in continuing to exist, and doesn't exist in an ethically relevant sense anyway. So whilst having an abortion may carry with it for some, some psychological pain, or maybe some backlash from society, uh, it's a small price to pay for the counterfactual harm of bringing into existence a being that will inevitably suffer and die, and will possibly endure extreme suffering and die horribly. So you are not pro-choice at all then, are you? Well, I'm all for making available safe and legal abortions. You want to tell women what they can and can't do with their own bodies? No, I'm just trying to put forward an argument as to what the most ethical thing to do is if you're in a situation where- Fuck you and fuck your ethics. Women's body, women's choice. You patriarchal, Trump-loving, misogynistic, racist, homophobic prick! Good. Excellent. Great.